Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. Scotty's girl's out fucking another guy, and he's just sitting there in his room just sad. He doesn't know where she is. Where is Fiona? Dude, she's getting fucked by some other dude. Don't tell Scotty. That's why you don't know, dude. You don't know because she said don't tell Scotty. She got a song wrote about it, dude. She got a song wrote about it, and now... You're in your room crying, painting pictures, asking your friends, why am I living anymore, you know, because you're all fucked up because you want Fiona, but Fiona is saying she's at church every night, but she's sucking dick. She's sucking dick, getting songs made about her, being a harlot, dude. Oh, my God. Fiona, Fiona, why you got to be so mean, you know? I think now in today's society, I think there should prob there's probably more of these songs should be made. Songs should be made. You know, they're probably gonna get made. Today's world is just different. It's very different with how people interact. Obviously, we know that due to everything that's happening with the COVID and all that, obviously. But holy shnikes, people, can we just can we just communicate? A little bit more. If I say hello, say hello back. How are you doing? Actually, in Texas, you get a lot more of that. But it seems like like the younger people, I'm the weird person now when I ask how someone's doing. They give me a weird look. A weird look. You're like, I'm sorry, dude. I just saw your face. Yeah, man. I just, I just want, I just saw you. I feel awkward when I'm, when I feel awkward. I talk a lot more, especially in situations. And I know that the person like has nothing to add to the conversation, but I keep talking. I keep talking, and that person's probably annoyed. And I'm like, well, you don't have to be annoyed if you talk, talk back. You know, talk back a little bit, dude. Now I'm telling them all my feelings about my life. Like, Justin, they don't need to know how you cried last night. They don't need to know that you're drinking more. You know? It's like, ah, I know. But I feel awkward, so I have to tell them. But Scotty doesn't know. Don't tell Scotty. Scotty just downloaded Snapchat, and he doesn't even know how it works. (laughs) What's the deal with Snapchat, people? Do you want to talk to someone or do you not? Because I can't remember shit that you said five minutes ago, and now you're going to delete the conversation, Snapchat? Thank you. Thank you. It's good for those people trying to make a dollar under the table under there, you know what I mean? But Snapchat, why are we snapping people photos of shit that we're doing? And then then you look at it and then you apparently you're just not supposed to reply because when you reply, it gets open but never gets messaged back. And then you feel like an idiot. And you're like, well, then why did you send me a video of you doing stupid shit? Do you not want you just wanted to show me? Thank you. Thank you for flexing on me. I'm bored and I'm living at, I'm staying at home tonight and you're out getting drunk and, and doing whatever the fuck you want. And then I go, wow, that looks cool. You know, or I say, whoa, where are you at? Or whatever. And then there's no reply. Are you supposed to reply on Snapchat or not supposed to reply on Snapchat? Figure it out. Let's make a plan. Let this, let the older people know like me. The world's changing. I'm turning more and more into an old person every day. Every day. I used cash the other day, right? The person looks at me like I'm the weird one. Well, I'm sorry. I thought this was a form of money. Can you please take it? They look at it weird. I'm like the old lady with checks now. Remember checks? Where you had to write a little short essay 
that you always forgot how to write because you never wrote checks. Now cash is looked at as checks. Plastic is sometimes easier if you don't have to go through 10 screens to do this. I like the tap to pay. That's cool. It just, it's so quick. But not every place has that. I really hate when I go to the gas stations and I got to push five buttons to pump my gas. I put my card in. I put my PIN number in. Now give me gas. I don't want, I don't want a car wash. I don't want to become a rewards member. I don't want it. Do I want a soda today? Maybe, but don't ask me. I know you have it because you're a gas station. Jeez. People, come on. Do I want it? Do I want the car wash from your gas station? No, I would just like your gas pump to fucking work correctly. Now I'm sitting there and now it's stuck. The handle's stuck. And you're like, can you, someone fucking help? No. And it just sits there, just sticks. No gas is coming out, but it's stuck there. Figure it out, gas people. Going through it. The other day I was pumping gas and the fucking gas was coming out the thing right here. Gas was, I was paying for the gas that was falling. Talk about savings. They don't care in Texas. They got so much oil and gas coming out their ass, dude. It's all good. I'm okay with it. I figured our gas prices would be a little cheaper, but I guess the United States is going through it too. Boom, roasted. Welcome back to, I think Justin's going through it. That's still the name. Appreciate um, you for listening to what's happening. Um, Updates. Um, I just got back from Austin, Texas, which is just amazing. I recommend it. Uh, If you're a traveler, if you're a comedian, go to Austin. Go to Austin. It's beautiful. I uh, felt warm and happy there, especially when I was day drinking. Woo-wee. The margaritas. It was great. Uh, So we went down to Austin on Monday for Kill Tony. Uh, Genevieve got up. Shout out to Genevieve. Um, She got up. She crushed it. She killed it. Um, Killed the audition. Uh, I mean, the interview, that went well. And Red Band asked her to be on his her show. That's fucking cool. It was a big win for the crew. Um, made made some connects, I would say. Made some new friends. I think I might have an idea. I think I might actually have an idea of someone coming on this podcast and getting to know him a little bit more. He's a cool guy. But until that happens, we'll get there. Um, what else did we do? Oh, beautiful. Um, yesterday we did... A podcast, me, Marcus Solon, and Genevieve. We did a podcast called Best Barbecue Places, I believe. Best Barbecue. I just want to get it, get it correct. Where is he at? Best. Best Barbecue Show. On Instagram, Best Barbecue. Go check it out. Cool guy. Yanni. And, uh, yeah. And um, he fed us uh, Valentina's Barbecue and holy shiitake mushrooms. If you have not been to Valentina's Barbecue, Tex-Mex in Austin, you got to go. This was the best breakfast taco that I've ever had there was a piece of brisket in there that it was it was a giant piece of brisket with some egg and bacon and a homemade tortilla I almost cried when I ate it it was so good um yeah then we got some coffee at Joe's or something and hung out and uh Came back. Now I'm back in Dallas, but Austin was great. I recommend it. I can't wait to go back. I believe we're going back next week. I don't know when this is airing. So we might be, uh, you might, you might uh, hear this after the fact. But we're going back, I think, for Kill Tony on Monday. Uh, hopefully that goes well. 
What are we going to talk about more today? Scotty doesn't know. That is the hot topic um, right now in my head. Women. Um, always, I'm always talking about women. You know, I'm single. I've been single for I don't know how long now. It's long. Um, everybody keeps giving me shit, you know. Justin, you, you got to find somebody. And I'm like, well, I found somebody. And her name's Depression. <laughs> Where's the fucking button? Damn it. Damn it. Rimshot. There we go. Uh-huh. Killing it. Roasted yourself, Justin. Um, no, I've been busy. And I don't know, man. I The bars I'm going to, I'm not, I guess I'm not seeing people. I know that's where you're supposed to meet somebody. Is that a bar, right? You meet the best people. It's not. I don't know. And, um... What is it? So we went, uh, I mean, so they keep giving me shit and they keep saying, Justin, you got to go out there. You got to go do that. You got to do that. And I'm like, dude, I, you know, I don't know what it is. I'm looking for the right person. Probably I'm at that age now, dude. I'm at an age where it's weird. I'm wearing a Funkle shirt. If you didn't know, that's where I'm at in my life. I'm the Funkle. If you didn't, the Funkle is like the loser of the family. He obviously he had too much fun. That's why he's called the Funkle. He doesn't have a family. He doesn't have a kid. And if he has kids, he doesn't know about them. But let's hope I ain't got none. I think I'm doing pretty good. I think you have to have sex to have kids. <laughs> but moving forward. I'm just trying to figure it out. You know, online dating is fucking terrible. That shit's just depressing. I get no matches. I'm on like two sites and it's like, wow, am I ugly? And I'm like, I know, I know I'm I'm pretty. <laughs> and that's what I got to tell myself while I'm looking in the mirror. Justin, you are pretty. It's just they don't know what they're missing out on. Maybe it's me, Justin. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that shit out. This is what it is. I'm trying to figure it out. Am I too much? Obviously. Obviously. Boom, roasted. But. I think that I'm a pretty genuine person when it comes to caring and loving. And that's why I don't, I'm not a person that like plays the field. I've never understood that. Am I putting all my business out there? Yes. Is this therapy for me? Yes. I'm going through it. But what was I saying? So, shit. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm so I'm 31, right? And it's just a different game now. Online dating is terrible. I'm too, I guess, genuine. I think that's what it is. I think every time I talk to people, they're like, Justin, you got to stop acting like you care. It's like I'm not acting like I just care. When you're interested in somebody, you cannot go up to them and tell them that you're interested because once you do that, you're fucked. Apparently, that's what happens. You're fucked. You don't know. <laughs> you lose. That's the game over. And I haven't got past that point yet. I keep starting. Over. And then I think about it too much. So now I figured, why don't I just talk about it? Tell the world. If anybody's watching this and knows of anything, Dr. Phil, if you're listening, send it a thing. I think he lives here. I don't know where he lives. Actually, who cares? Um, I'm just trying to say, I'm just uh, trying to figure this game out. I've always been trying to figure it out. When it feels genuine, it's still not genuine because it just falls apart at the end. Is that how I think all relationships go? Probably. Am I scarred emotionally? Most likely, yes. That's the thing why walls come up, if no one knows that. The walls come up because I'm just sick of getting hurt, okay? Sensitive. I got these walls up, I guess, because I keep looking for the right person, but I'm also a hopeless romantic. Hopeless, being a hopeless romantic is not good in, in the world. It's not going to work out for you. You have to be an animal. You have to be a savage. That's what I've learned. Because 
so far, I think that's most women. But I don't understand because I always hear from women, it's always like, oh, I just can't find the right guy. I can't do this. And it's like, are you looking in the wrong places? Maybe. Love, in my mind, it's like you're it's like you you lead the horse to the watering hole. That's love. Love is the watering hole. I'm the horse. I'm the big fucking horse, right? And I'm hanging out with this beautiful woman. I'm the horse. She's she's like, I'm gonna lead you to water. The love, right? She takes you over to the water and she's like, This is how much I care. Then she takes my head while I'm drinking this love. And then she fucking drowns me. Drowns me in the love. And then she goes, I guess I gotta get a new horse. I killed this one. And people are like, Justin, what's wrong? I'm going through it, people. But I really am trying to figure out the way to communicate to people. Am I supposed to care? I don't know. If you just ask, so far when you ask people how their day's going, they look at you like you're a fucking psychopath. I don't want to be a psychopath. I just wanted to see how you're doing. Maybe I wanted to talk to you. I like to talk to you. I'm interested in you. Don't do that, though. Right, Justin? Right. Right. I just never understood that part. I guess acting, it, it it comes off a lot, right? That's what it would be. People would be like, oh, wow, he really cares. So then some people, if you come in and do hot, they might be a little off put by it because you're like, oh, wow, this could be life-changing. You know, you could fall into a relationship. Do you want to be in a relationship? I don't know. Do you want to just play the field? Do you just want to go do whatever the fuck you want? Yeah, that's a good life. It's free. No stress of somebody asking you where you're at, what you're doing, you know? Even though sometimes it feels good. Where are you at? Oh, my God. She cares. Somebody cares. It's good. I'm also just, like, I'm realizing that the age is just, like, I do different things now. Yes, I go out most nights. I do. But I'm okay with staying at home, too. Let's just watch a movie, you know? Let's let's maybe drink some wine. Let's let's drink a margarita. Let's if you drink a margarita, you're gonna have a lot of them, and then your whole night is not sitting in the house. You're gonna go out. You're gonna go party. So maybe stick to the wine. Maybe a maybe a whiskey on the rocks, or just don't do it. Maybe just smoke some. Some healthy marijuana from God's green earth and relax. Make you a pizza. Turn on, turn on fucking Billy Madison. Turn on, turn on Pineapple Express. Chill out. Sometimes it's great. I like that. And that's where it's just like, and also, so like, it, at this point, everybody in my life, they're my friends, you know, they're at different points in their life. We're all at these different points. I'm clearly <laughs> taking a different path. I'm over on, you know, the Mario level, the space, the, the, the rainbow road. I'm on rainbow road on expert level, and I don't know what Nintendo is. I just got the controller. And I'm like, I can handle it. I'm flying off these roads, dude. And my friends are married. They're having kids. My other friend just had a baby today. Shout out to those guys. Congratulations. I love you. I miss you. I miss I miss my friends from Michigan and, and Vietnam and all over. I miss you guys. You know? But, yeah, like, my friends just had a baby. Again, they have two. I have a Funkle shirt. Which was given to me because I can't afford clothes. <laughs> Funkle. Uncle Justin had too much fun. 
Where's he at now? I don't know. I think he's still a server. He's 31 and he's doing comedy at bars for free. <laughs> that poor man. I, tell me about it. I use cash. I don't even have a credit card. I'm kidding. I do. But sometimes I like to use cash and now I'm judged for it. Justin doesn't know. Justin doesn't know. So don't tell Justin how to live a life that, you know, that movie was great. Euro Trip ruled. That shit was awesome. That shit was awesome. When the fairy came out. Who else tried to take absinthe? I did. I was hoping I'd get to see a little green leprechaun. That doesn't happen. It's a lie. I've also never been out of this country. I've been to Canada. I've never been anywhere else. Besides the United States of America. I'm not sad about it. And now I'm in one of the, I'm in the best damn state of the land, Texas. Texas, baby. We are down here doing whatever the fuck we want, you know? Seriously. I'm from Michigan, and Michigan just opened up to 20% capacity. What are we talking about here, Governor? 20%? Why open? The fucking building. Why did you even think about this? You know, it seems like a great idea. Just open it up. Let only 10 people in. But we could fit 200 in here. Only let 10 in and then that's it. Then also after those 10 people leave, shut it off. We're going home. But why would we even open? Well, you should open because it's free. It's it's freedom. It's now open and be free. Oh. I think... Everybody says it too. I also work in a rush. It's like, why do I got to wear gloves now? You made the decision to come outside. Leave your mask on. That's fine. There's cooks in the back. Just, you're going to let someone touch your food, but you're like, please serve it with gloves on. It keeps it safe. These deliveries, these no touch things. You honestly think that no one's touching your shit? How does it get in the bag? Well, it's different because they have gloves on. Are the gloves clean? It's fast food, people. They put a sticker on the bag to make you feel okay. And us as people are like, yeah, that's good. (laughs) Is it safe now? It's safe. So, moving on, I, um, I today, that, let's talk about today as well, you know, since we're there. I woke up and I worked out again for the first time. I feel better about myself. I kept telling myself to wake up and work out. I just wouldn't, couldn't do it. Not couldn't do it. It was lazy. You can always do it. And I did it. I worked out. I felt good. I need to get back into it. I moved down to Texas and I got real sidetracked and did, and stopped working out from go working out almost every day. Feel I always do that. It always when it's about to get good season and I'm in the best shape of my life, I get fat again. Even though everybody here tells me to get fatter. Like you got to get thicker in Texas, Justin. No one wants you skinny and I'm like, "Well, I want to feel better about myself." They're like, "Nope." It doesn't go well when you have <laughs> body issues, like self egotistical issues and body issues and shit. And, and you're like, maybe people will like me if I'm hotter. <laughs> That's sad. But we think it. Maybe no one's dating me because I'm not good looking enough. So I got to get in shape. Now I'm fat. Now no one's definitely going to like me. What do I do? Then I lose weight and I get in shape. People say I'm skinny. I'm too skinny. My grandma, she's the greatest. Justin, you're just too skinny. If you lose another, if you lose any more weight, you're you're gonna die. I said, Grandma, I lost thirty pounds. I'm in the best shape of my life. She goes, Well, I I just think you should eat some more food. I think you need to eat some pizza and dessert. You want a piece of pie, Grandma? I just worked out. I just ran to your house. No. Do you want a piece of pie? It's good after you run. <laughs> Grandma. No. 
Okay, fine, suit yourself. She always asked me about women, my grandma, which is funny. If I tell her, it's always the question, how's everything going? Good. How's work? Good. There's any women in your life? Most of the times it's no. And lately now, I, you know, I think it's fun to tell my grandma if I happen to do go on a date because she gets excited. I know it gets her a little excited because all she wants me to do is get married and have kids. Have a career. Have kids. And just have a nice life. And I'm over here going to all these bars for comedy. So she asked me, she goes, Did anything happen? And I was like, yeah, actually, you know, I hung out with a girl, finally. She's like, oh my God, that is amazing. I'm like, I know, isn't it? I was shocked as well. <laughs> but I told her and she goes, wow. And then she asked me all the questions. And it's funny when you meet somebody and the person that asks you the next day about that person asks you more questions than you asked the person that you hung out with. What do they do? I don't know. <laughs> How do you meet them? I don't. Online? I don't know. Do where they live? I don't know. What's their name? I don't fucking know. That's terrible. But it's bad, and it makes me realize, like, it's funny how more people, I guess, are interested. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. When you're in the moment, I guess sometimes you forget to slip up and ask a question. But, yeah, so I was telling her, and she's like, oh, that's great. Oh, my gosh, maybe she's the one. I'm like, oh, my God, Grandma. <laughs> maybe you'll marry her and have kids. I'm like, oh, my, Grandma. Grandma, I need at least a second date. Jeez. Oh, okay, well, I, I, I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. She said that to me about all the other women in my life. I'm single as shit. Justin, maybe this is the one. You know what? Maybe we just stop saying it and let it happen. Maybe we'll just wait. <laughs> maybe let's wait on it. Maybe let's give Justin some time. Maybe let him get booked again on a show. Maybe let him figure that out. Maybe let him figure out this podcast. Maybe, you know, maybe give him something that's doable. <laughs> give him something that's doable and um, easy. Okay, then we can get to the marriage shit. I can't, I, I'm not, I'm not so good with the money and the bills. And if I had a, a, a wife and kids, oh my God, my stress would be through the roof. And then I'd be like, I'm failing at comedy because I know I wouldn't be able to do comedy enough. You know, so then I'll be stressing about that. And I'll be like, oh, shit. I'm losing at comedy now, too. Yeah. So I worked out today. That was good. Good. If you haven't been outside, if you live in a cold state, I understand. Stay inside. Don't go outside. You could do some workouts inside, but don't go outside. I was from Michigan. That shit hurts. I understand. It's depressing. So cold and I'm so old, I'll go outside and it pinch my back. You know, when it hits you and it just and it hits that back. That's how old I am. I painted a whole bunch of things today. Therapeutic. It felt good to work out and paint. I never really painted. I came down here and I did a couple of things and I started doing these arts on, this, on on these cups. If some one of you bought these cups and you're listening to this, I appreciate you. I'm actually sold out of all these cups. I never thought that that would happen. Wow. It's pretty cool. I got to get more. Um, maybe I'll get different things. We got After this is out, you know, we're going to have a few podcasts that are literally sarcastic. It's pretty cool. Um, if you didn't know... You know, we got me. Well, well, that's fine. I don't need to plug that. But yeah, plug it. Uh, this, um, Real Open Mics of Hollywood, Marcus's, Marcus Owen Love Porn and Capitalism, and we got some other things in the work. You know, it's good. It's going good. I My friend keeps telling me that I look at the negative things. Marcus does. He's like, I'm like, Marcus, what the fuck is going on? He's like, dude, maybe you ever think, you ever try looking at the positives? And I'm like, well, that would be stupid. I need to. I think we might have talked about this in the last episode 
but trying to look at the positive shit instead of this negative shit. It does help the brain, but sometimes when you're going down in the rabbit hole of depression and darkness, it's easier just to keep latching on. You know, I had a bit of a breakdown and he talked to me about it and he said, why don't you just look at all the positives in your day? Which I never do. Sometimes I feel like I'm never doing anything. It's always just a blur. And I'm like, ah, it's just another day. Like I said before, Groundhog's Day. You just keep doing the same shit. Hopefully, it will end. These open mics will end and it will be a theater with your fucking name on the marquee, you know? I do need to look at the positives. And if you don't, I think we both should try whoever I'm talking to. I need to be more positive. I need to be happier. I painted today. That was really positive. I need artwork in my room. So I bought these canvases to put in my room. I needed to paint them. And I painted them all today. I painted four canvases and I'm excited to hang them up. I'm going to have a lot of artwork in the room. I still only have a... I use my laundry basket as my end table because I'm an adult. Um, I use my other uh, totes, uh, travel totes, also as my TV stand because I am an adult. But at least I could tell myself is that, uh, you know, you're just a light packer because, you know, you're moving and always on the move because you're a traveling comedian, you know, making things work. No, I really want to end table, though. I'm just too lazy to keep going on Craigslist and look for it. Every time I want to go on the internet and do something, I get sidetracked by social media. That is insane. It's like I'm going to Craigslist, which is already a bad site. But before I go to Craigslist, I got to check Instagram. Check Instagram before you go to Craigslist. An hour later, you're like, what the fuck was I on my phone for? I needed something. And then you then you leave the house and you go live your life. Then the next day, it's repeat. Now, the next day, you're on Facebook because somebody sent you a friend request, which I never see. Then an hour later, you're like, what the fuck was I doing? You're like, you need an end table, idiot. Get an end table. So then I go back on Craigslist, and now I'm on Craigslist, but I see a different ad. I'm not looking at, I see I see an ad for a new car that I'm not going to buy, like a used motorhome. I'm like, I'm going to look at all these. And now it's 30 minutes later, I'm looking at motorhomes, and I'm like, why was I on Craigslist? The internet is a tricky mistress, right? So much of it. I was realizing the other day how crazy it is from the time now when I went in high school, uh, how much music I didn't have. I have all of the music that's made in the world in my hand right now. I never looked at it that way. That's just the way I looked at my life, you know? I look at my life, I'm like, I... Got all this negative shit, and there's all this positive. Even though this phone fucking sucks, and I can't stand it most days, I have all, like, everything in the world in my hand. And I'm like, where's the calculator? That's where I'm getting old. I'm like, I need something. I need the flashlight. I understand maybe the solitaire thing now. I just use my phone, like, just for calling. I'm a loser in Instagram. Is that what we are now? Are old people with cell phones only people that know how to use this one, like, social media or they just use their phone? Like, the old desktops that my grandparents had and they only used it for solitaire and they played the shit out of solitaire. The shit out of solitaire. Speaking of my grandparents, my grand, it's it, of what they used solitaire on the computer, they watched westerns. My grandpa loved westerns. They watched Western so much that the Western symbol was burned down into the corner of the TV. So you could be on Fox News and it says the Western Channel. Yeah. And now I have every movie in the world right here. I don't know how to get to it, but I have that. I have it. Feels good. I feel good about today. I um, The first episode, if you guys didn't know, um, I'll tell you some things about it. I just started that podcast. I just started this. So the first one, I freaked out, dude. I had a mental breakdown at the beginning. I cut it off because I'm like, this is sad. It was like five minutes of me just literally blanking out. Maybe I could put it up. Maybe I should make a clip of it. It's sad. 
<laughs> it's funny. It's interesting. But I'm glad I'm sitting here again and doing this. Because I need to. Just like I said, you know. But this was much better. I felt better. I feel more clear-headed the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, things have been going a little bit better. We got that pick-me-up in Austin. We got to kill Tony, which is fucking awesome. We got, we got on the best barbecue podcast. Had some killer barbecue. Experienced some new things. And tonight I'm going out to do fucking comedy. Every day we're grinding. Every day we're trying to get better. And I'm excited for what's to come. And if you, too, are going through it, let me know. I have the best advice in the world because I've probably been through it. I'm kidding. That sounded so pretentious. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this is fun. I'll see you guys next time. It's, you, it's me. I'm Justin, and I'm going through it. See you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.